hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered that how we can convert modbus serial device data into the opc ua data okay with the help of node grid and in this video we are going to do the same we are going to convert modbus tcp device data into the opc ua data with the help of node grid so previously we were converting modbus serial device data now in this video we are converting modbus tcp device data into the opc ua data we are going to use the same flow but instead of modbus serial connection we are going to use the modbus tcp connection everything else is same okay so uh, our node grid will act as a modbus client which will read data from our modbus tcp device also, our node grid will create its own OPC UA server and any external OPC UA client can connect with the uh, node grid OPC UA server and can read the Morbus TCP device data. Okay, so let's see how does it work. So here is my node grid flow. I have used the same uh, compact OPC UA server node which I have used in the previous video and which I have explained you very well. Okay, so if you double click on this, then you can see the port number is 4840. Okay and here is our endpoint url for opc ua if i open my ua expert here if i click on this plus icon add server and here i can browse my node red compact opc ua server okay and here is the message mode and security policy i can connect uh, to my opc ua server node red opc ua server using this none message mode and none security policy so as you can see, I am connected and if I expand the Morbus device, you can see GPIO folder and here I can see inputs and outputs folder. If I drag and drop inputs folder here, then you can see all the holding register and the input register, but the value is zero because we haven't started our Morbus TCP device. So that is why you can see it's a reconnecting after 2000 millisecond. Uh, because we haven't started our Morbus TCP device so that uh, this Morbus node is not able to connect with the Morbus TCP IP device and here the values are not updating. So let me expand every column so you can read it very well. Okay, it's a display name, data type, source timestamp and the server timestamp. Okay, now we have to create Morbus TCP IP device. So for that we are going to use the Morbus slave software. And then we will do some adjustment in the Morbus Slave software. So let me create one more file here. And here I am going to use the function core 4 for the input register. Okay. So this the uh, so this first file MB Slave 1 is for holding register, and this file is for input register, which is uh, having a name as MB Slave 2. Okay. Both is having a slave ID of 1. Now what we will do is we will uh, click on connection we will click on connect and then we will create a modbus tcp ip connection because we have created our flow to connect with our modbus tcp ip server okay so here we will select connection as a modbus tcp ip port number 10502 and then we will press ok so it will start connecting okay so as you can see our both modbus node is connected and it is active now what we can do is we can simulate the values of our holding register so first holding register value is simulated now you can see the value is updating here as well in the opc ua client okay i can simulate the second value i can simulate other two holding register values okay and every value is updating in the opc ua client so our node red is basically reading the data from our modbus tcp device and it is setting all the data as a flow variable you can see here it is setting all the data as a flow variable and it is updating those data in the opc ua server and we can see those values here if i you know simulate the input register as well then also you will see all the input register uh, variable will update it here okay so i have set it to auto increment okay you can see here the first input register has a value of 39 41 42 43 okay so the so you you can see the value here same value you will see the here 
okay because our node read will read the data from this uh, morbus tcp device and then it will set to our opc ua server inside the node read and our ua expert will act as a opc ua client and it will read the data from node read opc ua server and we can see those data here if i open my second ua expert okay there also i can read that data so instead of local discovery i'm going to use the advanced option and here uh, we have to use the endpoint url which i have used here so i can paste my endpoint url here everything is none anonymous connection and then we will press ok and we are connected here is my modbus device gpio i can drag and drop the inputs yeah you can see right so the value is updating here okay the same value you are seeing here the same value is also updating here so if you have multiple opc ua client then also you can connect your multiple opc ua client to the single opc ua server of the node and you can get the data okay if you have a multiple uh, modbus tcp ip device then also you can connect your multiple modbus tcp ip device to the node read and you can also convert that data into the opc ua data you have to construct your an address space then after uh, however you want to adjust your data you can adjust in the folders okay i have adjust the four holding register in the inputs and i have adjust the four holding register in the output so if i drag and drop the four holding register here also, if I drag and drop the four holding register here, okay, it will not update any values, but I can use this four holding register to talk between these two OPC UA clients. Okay, so if I update value like 55 here, then it will also populate in the second OPC UA client. If I change the value of HR8 to 66, it will also update in the first OPC UA client okay so this is how you can uh, use this flow uh, to convert your morbus tcp device data into the opc ua data and you can also use outputs to make your opc ua client talk to each other okay so that is possible with the node read and here is our flow okay this node is reading the data from your modbus tcp device and after reading those data in the first node it will uh, set those values as a flow variable you can see the ir1 has a value of message dot payload zero if i and just a moment if i set a debug here and if i deploy it okay you can see yeah you can see 388389 so in in this array you can see the value okay zero colon 389 so this is the payload zero and we are setting the payload zero value as the ir1 okay so uh, what it will do it will set the 389 value to the opc us server and we are able to see those data here okay so this is how it is going to work now i have changed it i let me delete it and let me deploy it again okay so it will initialize and then it will set to active and it will start populating morbus tcp device data into this uh, opc ua server and we can read those data in the opc ua client and i can update values of holding register and it will automatically update it in the second connection of opc ua client okay so i hope this thing is clear and this is kind of complex but it is very useful that you can convert your mobile tcp device data into the opc ua server and also you have some spare outputs uh, which is used to you know communicate between two or multiple opc ua client software so any any of your opc ua client can update the value and second or any the rest of the opc ua client will get those update okay so opc ua client can be your software like ua expert it can be your scada like ignition scada plant scada any other dcs platform it can be your cap server or it can be your plc as well okay you can connect your plc with this and you can also provide the modbus data modbus tcp ip data to your plc if your plc is out of you know uh, communication port or something like that so that is possible so i hope this thing is clear that how to convert morbus tcp device data into the opc ua data
if you have any question or any concern then you can ping me on whatsapp telegram instagram anywhere i'll try to resolve your doubt as soon as possible and you will get this flow in the description of this video so we will meet you in the next video and till then take care goodbye and thank you